Well, 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 look who is back. I'm glad that you're back, especially since I'm running so late today. I'm, I apologize, it's been a little bit crazy with the Christmas season, but I am still dedicated to making sure that I get these videos out for this special week. <sighs> anyway, today we are doing Universe. This is probably one of the more requested ones that I have for the Christmas and holiday season, and I can't say no to that, so... That's what we're going to do. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't find a very good live version, so we are doing the music video today. So, anyway, enough of my chatter. Let's go on, shall we? Mm-hmm. 
Very, very cool. Um, <clears throat> this song is the exact proof and reasoning why no matter how many times I listen to EXO, it feels like I listen to them for the very first time. And, you know, I've said this a lot. A lot of times, uh, they, they kind of do favor a little more of the bluesy, some R&B here and there. That is true. Sometimes they do very happy songs. Sometimes they do songs in minor mode. This song <laughs> was written for the crescendo. And you might have noticed that I was kind of starting to pick up on this. And it's very rare to make a song built for a crescendo sound good. This song was good. <laughs> Obviously, like I said... There has not been an EXO song that I have found that I have disliked. And this uh, continues to be so. And so when it comes to when I say like building a song, uh, building to a song that builds towards a crescendo, every single time you get another verse of music, another phrase of music, it kind of keeps slowly building and they keep adding things. And then there's that part that kind of always just like, Makes it seem like it plateaus a little bit, and then it kind of steps up and then brings in an even bigger crescendo that, you know, kind of laces everything out so that they can end off on the soft, you know, drawn out phrase. And I think that the interesting thing about this is, is that I think if you were to just listen to the song, you know, just to listen to it, that might pass over you. I'm not saying I'm some sort of genius. I'm not. In fact, I don't have tons of musical theory, but I, I can understand when something is being written for something for a specific reason. And I think that's what's beautiful, is that you can take this song as a beautiful ballad, and then you can take it as kind of like a nice minor song. You know, I feel a little bit in the sadder section of things. But then, if you listen to it multiple times, you start to kind of pick out different things. Suddenly the guitar comes in. Sometimes there's some percussion. Sometimes it also something else comes kicking in. And then once you feel like that it's hit the plateau, <laughs> they bring it up one more step. And that is masterful. Love this song. If you like this song as much as I did, please let me know. And then also recommend me some new music. I am taking new recommendations. We're starting a new year. I have a lot of cool stuff planned. So... I hope that this video brought you just a little bit of positivity in your day and you can move forward now from here on from this video a little bit better. So anyway, I, uh, I hope to see you again soon. I love you all. Thank you.